Chapter 6.3, Solving Systems of Linear Equations by the Addition Property, uh, Addition Method. Okay, this addition method means you know, when we add two equations, we will, we will eliminate one of, the, uh, one of the variables. So this is same as elimination method. Elimination method. So this means, let's say we have two... Uh, two, e uh, two equations like this, 3x plus 2y is equal to 4. And another one is 4x minus 2y is equal to 10. Just an example. So when, when we solve this example, what do we do? Okay, we need to, we, we can either graph each line, you know, graph each line, or we can use substitution method to find an x and y. But we can use this third method, which is you know, addition method or elimination method. So we will eliminate one of the okay, elimination methods. So by adding two equations, we can eliminate, eliminate one variable, one variable by adding two, uh, two equations. Does it make sense? So, for like this, you know, when we, if you have something like three x, and then okay, one of the equation contains three x, another okay, positive three x, and one of uh, the other one contains negative three x. So this is, you know, the the coefficient is same, but different sign. So one is positive three, one is negative three. Once you add these two, what happens? It becomes zero, right? Zero. Zero means the act the the variable term x is eliminated. So same thing as this one. So let's check the coefficient of variables x and y. The coefficient of x is 3 and 4, but the coefficient of y is positive 2 and negative 2. So one is positive 2, the other one is in you know, opposite of positive 2, so negative 2. So since the coefficients of y is you know, opposite each other, so that we can add two equations. So add equation one and add equation two. Okay, some of these two equations will remove or eliminate the variable term y. So we have 7x, so 3x plus 4x is 7x, and then 2y minus 2y cancel out. So we have just eliminated the y term. So next is just we have only you know, divide each side by 7, so x is equal to 2. So we found the value of x by just eliminating y. So the you know, addition property is really powerful. Addition property and substitution is really powerful. And if you can use substitution, that's good. But it, it, if, you know, substitution method gives you, you know, fractions, then it is better to use addition method. Okay, since we found x, you know, we can find y using either equation 1 or equation 2. So let's use equation 1. Okay, it doesn't matter. So from equation 1, just plug in 2 for x. So equation 1 is 3x plus 2y is equal to 4. So replace this x with the value 2. Then we can find y, the value of y. So 6 plus 2y is equal to 4. The minus 6 each side. So 2y is equal to negative 4. Divide each side by negative 2. No, sorry, positive 2. Then y is equal to negative 2. So, uh, wait a minute. What, what are you doing? Sorry? This is negative 2, right? Negative 2. So divide each side by 2. Then we have negative 1. So, as you can see this, the solution... The solution is x is x is 2 and y is negative 1. Okay, we used this is the elimination elimination method. So we have to uh, rewrite the equation so that one of the variables, the coefficient, the coefficients of one of the variables is opposite each other. So if it's not opposite, each other then what do we do if the coefficients are different then what do we do we make it same 
so that we can eliminate that variable. So for example, let's, let's try another example. Let's say one is uh, 3x minus 4y is equal to 2, and the other one is 2x, let's say plus 2y is equal to uh, 3. Then how would you change this one? Okay, so we can, now we need to decide, you know, which, which variable to eliminate. So, as you can see this, y, look at the, look at the variable term, uh, we look at the coefficient of y, this is negative 4, this is positive 2. So, we can make this positive 2 into 4y, right, 4y. How? You know, do you remember, you know, equation, this is an equation. If you, if you have an equation, you can multiply each side of the equation by some number, right? You know, it's an equation, so we can multiply or divide everything by certain number. So, same thing. We can, in order to make the coefficient of y, we can, uh, the coefficient of y to be 4, we can multiply the, multiply the second equation. Multiply the second equation by what? 2, right? 2. Then this will give us, you know, multiply each each side of the equation by 3 by 2. So that means multiply the left hand side by 2, the right hand side by 2, right? By 2. So the left side will be 4x plus 4y is equal to 6. Now this is the Okay, let's say this is num uh, equation 3. So equa equation 3 comes from equation 2 by multiplying the equation 2 by 2. So if we compare this equation 3 with equation 1, the coefficient of y is now positive 4. This is positive 4. And equation 1, the coefficient of y is negative 4. So that we can add 1 and 3. You know, the sum of Equation 1 and 3 will give us, get the equation 1 is negative 3x minus 4y is equal to, and the equation 3 is 4x plus 4y is equal to 6. So by adding this to, okay, let's add this one, equation 1, equation 2. Okay, not this. Then this will give us 7x is equal to 8. You know, negative 4y and positive 4y cancel out. So we have this, so x is equal to 8 over 7. So we found the value of x. So we can now find the value of y from equation 1 or equation 2. It doesn't matter. So, uh, you know, I met this, this example, so actually we don't want a fraction. But we got, the, we got a fraction value for x. So let's use equation 1. It doesn't, actually it doesn't matter, so we will use equation 2 to find to find y. So from here, replace this x with 8 over 7 plus 2y is equal to 3 and then this is 16 over 7 plus 2y is equal to 3, right? And then what do we do? Well, you can move 16 over 7 to the other side, or you can multiply the equation by 7. It actually doesn't matter. So, okay, let's, let's move 16 over 7 to the other side. So minus 16 over 7. Make sense? Then this is equal to use of fraction. So this is over 1, so multiply both numerator and denominator by 7, then this will be 21, okay, then 2y is equal to, so 21 minus 16, and the denominator is the same, right? So 2y is equal to, that is 5 over 7, and then now, divide each side by 2. So I'm going to divide each side by 2. And I divide, multiply by 1 over 2 actually, right? 1 over 2, multiply by 1 over 2, so we can cancel out 2. So y is equal to 5 over 14. So we got the y value, like this. So the solution will be x is 8 over 7, y is 5 over 14.
Okay, test the equation, test the solution. Or you can do this way. Uh, from here, from here, we got this way, but we, you can do it this way. Multiply each side by, can okay, multiply this by seven. Okay, 16 over seven plus Okay, I'm you know we will try another another approach to find the y value. So from here we will multiply each side by seven. And multiply by seven. So multiply this guy by seven and then multiply three by also seven. Then this will give us uh, you know seven seven cancel out, so we got sixteen plus fourteen y is equal to twenty-one. And then minus 16 each side. So 14y is equal to 5, right? And then divide each side by 14, so 5 over 14. So we got the y value from here. So or, right? Or. All right, so when we have an equation that contains a fraction, then you can eliminate the fraction by multiplying the equation by that uh and actually the lcd okay so this is another approach using elimination method so if an example if the if lines if the given two lines have the same coefficient with different sign then we can just add this equation if the coefficients are different then we can make it same okay we can make the coefficients same to eliminate that variable so how do we make the same? Use LCM. Okay, LCM. So actually, LCM, right? LCM. Find the LCM of. Uh, let me write it here. So we will find the LCM, the least common multiple LCM of the coefficients, the coefficients of a variable x or y to be eliminated to be eliminated okay so the coefficient of y is 4 and 2 then the lcm of 4 and 2 is 4 so we will make the coefficient of y to be the lcm 4 okay then let's try examples in the textbook okay, example 1 okay so Solve the system of two linear equations by addition method. Addition method. So addition method means eliminate the variable x or y. So in this case, the coefficients of x and y are all different. So we will decide which variable to eliminate. So in this case, it doesn't matter. So let's eliminate, eliminate the variable x. Okay. Uh, let's eliminate. Let's eliminate the variable x okay it doesn't matter actually so the coefficient of x is 2 and 5 right 2 and 5 so the lcm lcm of 2 and 5 is what 10 right 10 so we will make the coefficient of x to be 10 and the other one is negative 10 so let's say this is e equation 1 and equation 2 so in order to make the coefficient of x to be 10 and negative 10, so you know two need to be 10. So we will multiply the first equation. Multiply the first equation by 5 so that we can make it 10, right? 10. So let me write it here. So I will multiply the equation, the first equation by 10. Okay, so first, first equation is 2x plus 4y is equal to 7. Right, 7 times 5. Make sense? So this is the equation 1. And then also multiply the second equation. Multiply the second equation by what? This time, this the coefficient of uh, x, coefficient of x need to be negative 5 this time. Right? One is positive 5, one is uh, positive 10, the other one is negative 5. So negative 10. So we'll multiply negative. So multiply each side of the equation of the second equation by negative 5. Right? So multiply the first e second equation by 
multiply the second equation, you know, each side of the second equation by negative 5, like this. So this will give us a new system of equations, which is 10x. Okay, the first equation is 10x plus 4y times 5 is 20y. 7 times 5 is 35. And then the second equation is negative. Sorry, this is, sorry, sorry, I'm so sorry. All right, this is negative 2, right? Negative 2. We gotta multiply negative 2. Come on. Right, so that the coefficient of x will be negative 10. Okay, so. So multiply the second equation by negative 2, so negative 10x plus positive 6y and then the right side of the equation is 4. Okay, so we got this. So we have new equations, 3 and 4. Let's say this is equation 3, equation 4. Because, you know, we change the equation 1 and 2 by multiplying you know, 5 and negative 2 you know, to make the same coefficients with different sign. And then what do we do next? Just add up or add, add. Add two equations. Then we can cancel out x terms. And then we have 26y is equal to 39, right? 26y equal 39. So from this equation, we can divide each side by 26. Okay. And then simplify this. Simplify this. So y is equal to... Uh, this is the, the numerator denominator is divisible by 13. So it is 3 over 2. So we got the y value. Then we need to find the x value, the x coordinate, x value. So let's use either equation 1 or 2. So why don't we use equation, equation 1? Why? Because when we substitute this y value, you know, 3 over 2 for y, the denominator is 2. The coefficient of y is 4, so we can cancel out the denominator. So actually, it doesn't matter. You can use equation 1, 2, it doesn't matter. But this time, I want to use equation 1 because equation 1 gives us, does not give us a fraction. So 4 times, 4y is equal to 7. So from here, I will substitute this y value for y in the equation 1. So 2x plus 4 times y is 3 over 2 is equal to 7. See, we can, we can reduce this 2, right? 2. So that we don't have fraction anymore. 2x plus 2 times 3 is 6 is equal to 7. And then minus 6 each side. So 2x is equal to 1. Then x is divide each side by 1. So x is 1 over 2. So we got the x value. Therefore, the solution is what? Solution is x is always write down the x coordinate first, 1 half and then 3 halves. So this is the solution. Okay, so if we plug in a 3 over 2 in the uh, second equation, then, you know, negative 3 times, negative 3 times 3 over 2, you know, we have a fraction. So we just want to avoid having an equation, you know, that contains fraction. So 1 is better, Equa using one equation 1 is better. All right, so impor important thing is what? We need to eliminate one of these two variables, x and y. So we will have to select either x or y if they have, if the coefficients are the same or, or same, then we can just add or subtract. But if the coefficients are different, then we got to find the LCM. Okay, LCM. All right, let's try problem one. Okay, problem one. Okay, we have uh, two equations, equation 1 and equation 2. Okay, the leading coefficient of x and y are different. So, in this case, let's eliminate y this time. Let's eliminate y. It actually doesn't matter. You can eliminate x or y. It doesn't matter. Okay, the coefficients of y are negative 2 and 4. So, the, what is the LCM? 
LCM of negative 2 and 4 is what? 8, right? 8. So we will make the coefficient of y to be 8 and the other one is negative 8. So, you know, same coefficients with different sign so that we can eliminate y. So in this case, we will multiply the first equation by what? By 4. Multiply the first equation by 4 so that we can make a negative 8. And the second equation is multiply the second equation by 2 so that we can make it 8. So one is negative 8, the other one is positive. And positive 8. So equation 1, I will multiply. Okay, let me write it here. Okay, write the first equation x minus 2y is equal to 1. So I want to multiply this whole thing by 4, right? 4. Multiply 4. Then this will be, then this will be 4x uh, minus 8y is equal to 4. Okay, for the second equation, the second equation is 2x plus 4y. So I want to multiply this equation by what? 2, right? 2. Multiply this by 2. Okay, 2. Then this is 4x. And then plus 8y is equal to 0 times 2 is 0. So we have equation 3 and 4. New equations. As you can see this, the coefficient of y is, you know, one is positive, one is negative. So once we add these two, okay, add these two equations, then we got 8x is equal to 4. So x is equal to, divide each side by 8. So x is equal to 1 over 2, right? Alright, so we found the x value. So using this one, Let's find the y value. Okay, use let's use equation equation two. Let's use equation two. Because you know we can cancel out this denominator too. So from the equation two, okay, why don't I go over here? So using equation two, I will substitute one over two for x in the second equation. So x two x plus 4y is equal to 0. 2 times x equals 1 over 2 plus 4y is equal to 0. And then 2 to cancel out. So 1 plus 4y is equal to 0. And then minus 1 each side. Minus 1 each side. Then 4y is equal to negative 1. Divide each side by 4. So we got the y value. So from this, the solution is what? So that, therefore, the solution is x is 1 over 2, y is negative 1 fourth. Okay, simple, huh? So eliminate is really simple and powerful. So we will eliminate, so eliminate variable x or y by making same coefficients. So that you have to find the LCM. Okay, so make the coefficient of x or y to be the LCM of that coefficient. So that you can multiply so that the LC, the, the coefficients will be in the same value with different sign. Okay, let's try example two. Okay, example two. Okay, when we solve, uh, solve a system of equations by addition method, then we have to align the x term and y term uh, in the same side, so in the same column. So usually, you know, 2x, you know, negative 3x, plus 4y minus 3y is equal to 1 or 3, like I'm a 4. So always make sure you know, each column must have the same variable terms. So like terms should be aligned in the same column. Okay, so align, so let me write it, align. Align the variables in the same column. Variable terms, you know, like terms like terms in the same column. Okay, so 
So we have to align it. So usually, you know, X terms comes first, and then the second column is for the Y terms, and then equal sign, and then constant. So from the equation one, so from equation one, why don't we move 5X first? So, okay, so write down 5X first, and then 2X, move 2X to the left. So it will be negative, okay, so let me write it here. So from the equation one, right? This equation one, equation two. Then from the equ from equation one, we will rewrite the equation. So then in five x comes first. So minus two y each side, minus two y each side. So that we have five x minus two y is equal to negative seven. Okay. So when you move a term to the other side, always change the sign. Okay. Once you move it, change the sign. So 2x, we will move 2x from right to the left. So 2x becomes minus 2x. So let's say this is the equation 3. Okay, and then equation 2. And then we can rewrite it. All right, so let me, so we have, we have this equation, right? This equation. So why don't we just rewrite it? Rewrite the equation. So we will rewrite the, the new equation in the first equation. So 5x minus 2y is equal to negative 7. So this is the equation 3. Right? Let's say this is equation 3. This is the equation 3, right? And then the second equation is unchanged. So this is the second equation. Make sense? So we just rewrote, rewrote the first equation. And then that is the equation number 3. So from this, so from this, let's use elimination method. I mean the yeah, elimination method, which is addition method. So why don't we eliminate four? I mean the the y term, because this is negative two, this is positive four. So we can just multiply the third equation, equation number three by two, so that we have negative four, right? Negative four. Okay, instead of if you uh, if we if we uh, eliminate variable term x, then we have to the LCM the LCM of five and three is fifteen, so we have to multiply both equations, both equations. So uh, instead of multiplying both equations, we better use you know we want to make our work you know simple right simple. So let's eliminate y so that we can multiply only one equation. All right, so. We will eliminate y. So ACM, ACM of, you know, negative two and four it doesn't matter. Well, one is ACM of two and four is what? Yes, okay, let me write it again. ACM of two and four is eight, right, eight. So we will make, sorry, four, right, four. So we'll just make four. The coefficient of y to be four and negative four. So multiply the third equation. I'm gonna multiply the third equation by two. So they will be a negative four, right? Okay, so multiply the four, five x minus two y is equal to negative seven by, okay, multiply the third equation by what? Two, right? Two by two. Okay, then this one is equal to what? So negative five x times two you distribute. So ten x minus four y is equal to negative fourteen. And the second equation is unchanged. 3x plus 4y is equal to 1. Okay. So the coefficient of y is or what? 1 is negative 4, 1 is positive 4. So why don't we just add these two? Add. Okay, then 10x plus 3x is 13x. Y terms cancel out. Then this is negative 13. So x is equal to negative 13 over 13 
So x equals negative 1. So we found the x value. Okay, so from this one, okay, let's find the y value. Okay, why don't we use uh, equation 1? So from equation 1, we can find x. Or equation 1 or equation 2, doesn't matter. Equation 1 or equation 2, doesn't matter. All right, so why don't we use, okay, I, I just, I just, I want to use uh, equation 2. I want to use equation 2. So equation 2 is 3x plus 4y is equal to 1. And then this x value will be replaced by negative 1, right? So 3 times negative 1 plus 4y is equal to 1. Then negative 3 plus 4y is equal to 1. So, pod, so plus 3 each side. So 4y is equal to 4. Then y is equal to 1, right? So we got the y value. So the solution is x is negative 1, y is 1. Okay. So when we solve an equation, make sure you align the x term and y terms in the same column so that we can you know, add and subtract. All right, and let's try problem number two. Okay, the problem number two, the first equation, if the y term is on the right side, so why don't we move y to the left? Then it will be 4x, and then y, the y is positive, so move to the left, and that becomes minus y is equal to negative 6. The second equation is unchanged. 8. All right, so from here, what do we do? Do you want to eliminate x or y? It doesn't matter, right? It doesn't matter. So let's say this is equation 1, this is equation 2. So we just rewrote the first equation like this, right? Like this. So from the new equation, new system of equations, we can, uh, why don't we just eliminate y? Okay, let's, let's eliminate y. This is, you know, this is negative 1, it's negative 1, this is positive 5. So the LCM, so the LCM is, what's the LCM? LCM of negative 1, negative 1 or 1, it doesn't matter. 1 and 5 is 5, right? 5. So we want to make it 5. Do I have to write it here? LCM of negative 1 and 5 is, you know, 5 or negative 5 doesn't matter, doesn't matter. So let's make it negative 5 and 5. So I will multiply the first equation. Multiply the first equation by what? 5. So that we will have negative 5y. Okay, so multiply by 5, then there will be 20x. Uh, should I write it here again? Okay, let's, let me write it here. So 4y minus 4x. Okay, this is equation 1. 4x minus y is equal to negative 6. So I will multiply this equation by 5. Okay, so multiply this by 5. Then this will be 20x minus 5y is equal to negative 30. So let's say this is equation number 3. So let's write them equation 3 and 2. So if you come here, then it will be So our new system of equation is, okay, equation 3 is 20x minus 5y is equal to negative 30. And then equation 2, so if this is equation 3. Okay, equation 3 comes from equation 1. And 2 is unchanged. All right. So as you can see this, the coefficient of y is negative 5 and 5. So why don't we just add two equations? All right, so this is 22x is equal to negative 22, negative 22, right? So divide each side by 22, then x is equal to negative 1. So we found the x value. So let's find the value of y using, let's use the first equation. The first equation, which is uh, 4x 
minus y is equal to negative 6. So from here, x is negative 1, minus y is negative 6. Then negative 4 minus y is equal to negative 6. And then move minus 4 to the other side. Or you can just add 4 to each side. Then negative y is equal to negative 2. Then multiply each side by negative, so y is equal to positive 2. So we got the solution. So the solution is what? x is negative 1 and y is 2. Now let's check if this is correct. x is negative 1. Then uh, from equation 1, negative 1, then negative 4, right? Negative 4, negative 4 minus 2 is negative 6. Yeah, equation 1 is true. How about equation 2? x is negative 1, then negative 2 plus 10 is 8. Yeah, this is correct. Okay, let's try example 3. Okay, example 3. Okay, when we solve this system of equations by addition, by the addition method, okay, the coefficient of x and y are all different. So let's select, uh, let's eliminate x, variable x. So the LCM, okay, the LCM of x is 4 and 6 and 4. So the, what is the, I mean, the coefficients of x is 6 and 4. So what's the LCM of 6 and 4? That is equal to 12, isn't it? 12. So we will make the first e the coefficient of x to be 12 and the other one is negative 12. Okay, so why don't we multiply the first equation? Multiply the first equation by uh, 2. So it will be positive 12, right? So I'm going to multiply the first equation by 2. So here. Multiply the first equation by 2, by 2, okay, and then multiply the second equation by, okay, the second equation, the coefficient of, coefficient of x should be negative 12, because we have positive 12 from the first equation, negative 12, so multiply the second equation by negative 3, so that so 4 times 3 is 12. So we want negative 12, so minus 3. So multiply each side by negative 3. Okay, so the second equation is 4x plus 6y is equal to 10. So multiply the second equation by negative 3. All right, then this will be, okay, let me write it here. So multiply each term inside the parenthesis by 2, then that is 12x plus 18y is equal to 30. Right? Okay, for the second equation, 4x times negative 3 is negative 12x, and then minus. 18y is equal to negative 30. Alright. Alright. So we have new equations. 3n, 4. Okay, so let's say, uh, okay, so this equation is 3, and actually it doesn't matter, 3n, this is 4, right, for new equations. So since we have 12 and negative 12, the coefficients of x are same with different sign. We can add this two. What happens? When you add this two, we can cancel out this x. But the, even the y variable, the, the coefficients y are the same with different signs. So even y, y cancel out. So we have zero on the left hand side. The right hand side, 30 minus 30 is zero. Now look at this. Do you remember when, you, when we use a substitution? If we have a result, you know, if the equation is true, right? This is true equation. This is a true equation. Then what's our conclusion? This is true equation, right? Equation. Okay, true equation is not a, not a solution. Okay, this is not our answer. Our answer should be, you know, should find the solution or no solution or infinitely many solutions. So true equation means there are infinitely many solutions, right? So.
there are infinitely many solutions. What do I mean by infinitely many solutions? This means two lines are identical, equal. Actually, they are exactly the same. So look at this. In the equation three and four, are they same? Yes, because if we multiply the equation four by negative, then this will be 12x plus 18y is equal to 30. Exactly the same as the third equation, right? So always be careful. Once your result is true, like uh, 0 equals 0, 1 equals 1, 2 equals 2, then our conclusion is what? There are infinitely many solutions. Two lines are exactly the same, infinitely many solutions. If our, for example, if our so, uh, result is not true, like uh, 1 equals 2 or 3 equals 4, then what's our conclusion? There is no solution. Okay, so always, good. on the other side, we may have uh, we may have system of equations whose result is not true. That means two lines are parallel. Okay, this means two lines are parallel, same slope, what but with different location. Okay, so always be careful when you solve an equation. There are three types of solutions. One. It gives us exact solution. That means you know, x has a value, y has a value. Exact solution. And the second, we may have no solution at all. If two lines are parallel like this, the result is false. The result is false, then there's no solution. And the third one is there are infinitely many solutions if the result is what? True. Okay, true. True equation. Okay, problem three. Okay, let's say this is equation one, equation two. So let's eliminate you know, any variable. Let's eliminate four, I mean the, 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 x, the variable x. So we will eliminate the variable x. And this is two and this is negative four. So why don't we just multiply the first equation? Multiply the first equation by two. Okay, then that will be Multiply the first equation by 2. So why don't we just multiply by 2? So that is 4x minus 6y is equal to 8. Okay, and the second equation stays the same. So negative 4x plus 6y is equal to negative 8. Okay. So the first equation, we just multiply the first equation by 2. Okay, multiply the first equation by 2. So we have the new equation, 3, right, 3. All right, then the, since the coefficient of x are the same, we can cancel out. Look at this. x cancel out, it becomes 0. And then the coefficient of y is 6 and negative 6. So also y cancel out. So we have 0 on the left-hand side. The right-hand side is what? Once we add these two equations, the right hand side also zero. So this is true, right? True equation. So what's our conclusion? There are infinitely many solutions, right? Infinitely many solutions. There are infinitely many solutions. Okay. So provide one x value, then you get y value. Provide another x value, you get another y value. So there are infinitely many solutions. Why? Because two lines are equal. Okay, equal. All right, then let's try uh, another example. Uh, this is in the textbook, another example. So 2x plus y is equal to 2. And 4x plus 2y is equal to negative 5. All right, so from here, let's say this is the equation 1. The second line is the equation 2. Then let's eliminate, this time, eliminate x. Uh, you know, anything is okay. So, okay, let's eliminate x. Because since this is 2 and 4, the coefficient of x is 2 and 4. So why don't we make it, the LCD is 4. So, so the LCM is 4, right? The LCM of 2 and 4 is equal to 4. So we will make the coefficient of the first equation Co coefficient of x in the first equation to be negative 4. Okay, let's make it negative 4. So multiply the first equation by what? 
uh, negative 2 so that we can make it negative 4 and that the coefficient of x in the second equation is 4 so one is positive 4 the other one is negative 4 okay negative 4 let's make it negative 4 so I want to make this one to be what negative 4 okay I want to make it negative 4 so we we'll multiply the first equation by negative 2 okay so negative 2 so 2x plus y is equal to, I will multiply this whole equation by what? Negative 2, right? Negative 2. Negative 2. Then this is equal to negative 4x minus 2y is equal to negative 4. So this is the equation 3, right? So this guy then we have this guy, right? All right, then let's write the second equation in the next line. 4x plus 2y is equal to negative 5. This equation 2. So from the equation 1, so we just modify the equation 1 by multiplying the equation by negative 2. So that we have the coefficients of x are negative 4 and 4. Okay, so we just add up these two equations. Then we can cancel out x term, y term, even, even y terms are cancelled. We just remove the y terms also. Okay, so left hand side is 0, the right hand side is negative 9. Look at this. What's our conclusion? Okay, this is a false equation, a false. This is a false equation. Then what do you mean by this? This means line, two lines are what? Parallel, right? Two lines are parallel so that there is no solution. Okay? So our answer is no solution. Now, false equation is not a solution. Parallel lines is not a solution. Uh, not an answer, okay? False equation is not an answer. Two lines are parallel is not an answer. The answer is no solution because we want to solve the equation solve the equation means find the equation find the solution you know the intersection if there's no intersection between two point uh, two lines then we say what the answer is no solution if there are so many infinitely many uh, over overlap points then we say what the answer is there are infinitely many solutions so this is really important how many types how many uh, types of solutions are there? Three types. Exact solution, no solution, and infinite many solutions. So all those three types comes from our result. So once we you know, use addition method or substitution method, if you have an exact value of x and y, then that's the solution. Otherwise, if the equation is false, you know, the result is false, then no solution. If the result is true like this, then there are infinitely many solutions. Okay, we are done for this section.